Hello students, you are welcome to our English lesson. Today is our theme, the best places to visit in Kazakhstan. Okay, let's start our lesson. New vocabulary. Listen and repeat. Argument. Argument. At a full gallop. At a full gallop. Cockroach. Cockroach. Crowd. Crowd. Grab. Grab. Handkerchief. Handkerchief. Lean down. Lean down. On display. On display. Race. Race. Saddle. Saddle. Snatch. Snatch. Speed. Speed. My amazing travels. I've almost completed my year-long trip around the world. I've seen a lot of amazing things on my travels. Today, I'm going to tell you about two unusual sports I witnessed. There are many weird sports and races around the world. From underwater hockey to zorbing, people have found lots of ways to entertain themselves. Cockroaches disgust most people, but in Australia they have become well-known racing animals. It all started one day in 1982 in Brisbane, in the east of Australia. Two men had an argument about which part of town had the biggest and fastest cockroaches. The argument led to a race in an empty parking lot, where cockroaches from the two parts of the town had to race. The sport of cockroach racing was born. A crowd started gathering around and they enjoyed it. Who doesn't like to see cockroaches compete? Since then, cockroach races have taken place every January 26th. When I was in Kazakhstan, I saw something that took my breath away. I saw horsemen riding, leaning down to snatch up a handkerchief from the ground. They did this while riding at full gallop. They picked up one handkerchief from the left, then one from the right, then again and again. Whoever grabs the most handkerchiefs is the winner. I couldn't believe the skills and speed on display. I don't know how the riders didn't fall from their saddles. The sport is called Kumisalu, and it's a very ancient game. Alexander the Great once said that it was the best training for horsemen. This sport is still popular in Kazakhstan, and it's easy to see why. Do you know any other unusual sports and races people take part in around the world? Are they as amazing as these two sports? Exercise 2. Read the text again and remark the statements true, false or doesn't say. Correct the false sentences. A lake or a sea? It is the largest enclosed body of water on Earth. In fact, it is so large, some people call it a sea, although most scientists argue it is a lake. The Caspian Sea, located in Western Asia, on the eastern edges of Europe, is the world's largest lake, but it is not a freshwater lake. In ancient times, people thought it was an ocean because it tasted so salty. So what exactly is the Caspian Sea? The Caspian Sea is not connected with an ocean, 
which makes it like a lake. However, it is very big and its water is salty, which makes it like a sea. It is 371,000 kilometers square and it borders five countries, Kazakhstan, Russia, Azerbaijan, Iran and Turkmenistan. It is almost four times bigger than Portugal. Because of the large area it covers, the depth is not the same in all parts of the lake. The northern part is about six meters deep, while the southern end is more than 1,000 meters. So where does the water come from? Fresh water flows into the Caspian Sea from the Volga River and Ural River in the north. In fact, 130 large and small rivers flow into the Caspian. However, the sea remains somewhat salty, central and south. As there are no outlets, the Caspian Sea loses water only through evaporation. The process during which a liquid turns into gas. This makes its blackish water even saltier. The Caspian Sea is an amazing natural attraction. It has a huge variety of wildlife, such as the Caspian Seal, the Caspian Turtle, and 90% of the world's sturgeons, including the beluga. This is the fish that produces caviar. Caviar is the eggs of the sturgeon. It is very tasty but quite expensive. This means fishing is quite popular there. And although biologists are worried about what overfishing does to this ecosystem, there are other threats. As the lake's water levels rise, many plants and animals become extinct. The levels of the Caspian Sea change according to the amount of water that flows in from the Volga River. In turn, that depends on weather conditions in the North Atlantic. As a result, this makes the Caspian Sea very important to scientists studying the causes and effects of global climate change. Whether it is a sea or a lake, the Caspian Sea is a natural attraction worth visiting and studying. Exercise 1, page 38. How much do you know about the Caspian Sea? Take the quiz. The lesson is over. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.